I got started with an idea from a little girl from Mississippi uh, in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. Uh, we had built three 100% handicap accessible playgrounds for the children on the Gulf Coast. After Hurricane Sandy hit New Jersey pretty hard and New York and Connecticut, we began to respond to the coast and start to you know help out and rebuild. And then on December 14th, the Newtown tragedy happened and we were crushed like everybody else. And I got an email from a little nine-year-old girl from Mississippi thanking us for the playgrounds that we had built seven years ago, reminding me that this uh, may be the way that we could dig ourselves out of a, 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 just a horrible situation. And uh, we decided to build 26 playgrounds. These parks stand for hope and recovery. They are symbols to the towns of, uh, you know, that the town is going to come back. It's just a, hope, a hopeful sign. For the families, I think it's an opportunity for them to give back, to uh, move forward. Breaking ground and realizing that kids were going to be playing here sooner than later. There's hope that we're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay because the kids are going to laugh they're going to run around and they're going to play. This is Catherine's playground. For the community, this is where we can learn to be happy again. When I actually was, this idea came to me and I felt like I was chosen to do this project, I knew that I had to visit the families and speak to them and get their approval and see how they would feel about us doing this project. And every family, you know, right down the line, uh, to, to every mom and every dad and brother and sister that we spoke to, um, loved the idea and embraced it. And and uh, that validated that, in fact, what we were doing was the, the right thing to do. This is great. Thank you so much. All the playgrounds that we're doing is a combination of police, fire, EMS, teachers, local community uh, people, the, the, the DPW, government working with labor, career fire departments working with volunteer fire departments. There are no, it's a pure project. There's really no agenda other than making kids play again and be you know, renewing their childhood. Okay, so what, what's the what's the name of the class that gets to go first on the playground? Mrs. Martone's class. Okay. We'll make sure. Well, the volunteers are coming from everywhere, all different walks, teachers, family members, um, people that see it on the news, people from the community. Uh, just how do we get involved? How do we help? How do we raise money? And uh, it's been wonderful to see. People are stepping up all across the, the states. There you go, Fred. Good. Nice job, buddy. Uh, it, our challenge is to raise $3 million for this project. The sandygroundproject.org is where people can go to, uh, to donate, so uh, we're hoping they will. And, but if people can't donate, at least they can go to the site, spread it by Facebook or by Twitter or by uh, the social media, spread the word so that those people who can have the, and do have the means to help out financially will, and I have no doubt that we will finance this project and probably on into Boston uh, to help the victims of the Boston Marathon and then into a more Oklahoma to help the, the families there. I don't think that where Angels Play has any um, retirement anytime soon. I think it's just something that will live on for uh, far beyond my, my life. That's what it's all about. That's why it was here. That's why you're here. That's why I'm here. That's where all the musicians are here. 